Hello, I'm Whiskey, and today I'm going to be going through all the enemies in Darkest Dungeon and how to beat them. I will not be covering bosses or wandering event monsters, but be warned, there will be mild spoilers ahead. I will be generally covering all types of enemies in the game, their strengths, weaknesses, and where they are found, as well as a recommended focus order. So to begin with, humans are the most common type of enemy and can be found almost anywhere, but are most common in the Weld and Warrens, which means cultists, brigands, and madmen are some of the most common enemies in the game. They're middle of the road with no particular strengths or weaknesses. The bounty hunter does bonus damage against them. Next we have unholy enemies, meaning undead. They're most often found in the ruins but can appear in other regions. As befitting skeletons, they have an almost complete immunity to bleed effects and overall good resistances. Ghouls can still be affected by bleed though, and they are vulnerable to blight. Next are eldritch enemies, which are Cthulhu-esque monstrosities from beyond. They are only found in numbers in the Weld, the Cove, and the Darkest Dungeon. The eldritch fish monsters found in the Cove have high bleed resistance, but are weak to blight, and vice versa for the ones found in the Weld. The Occultist also gains bonus damage against them. Beasts are the last creature type in the game. They are most commonly found in the Warrens, and are the most likely to spread diseases. The Houndmaster does bonus damage against them. Lastly, if you own the Crimson Court DLC, Bloodsuckers will appear in the Courtyard region. They are extremely resistant to Blight, but bleed quite easily. So, in summary, humans are common everywhere with no major weaknesses. Unholy appear in runes, immune to bleed, except for ghouls. Eldritch appear in the Weld, Cove, and Darkest Dungeon. If they're fish, they're weak to blight. If they're in the Weld, they're weak to bleed. Beasts appear in the Warren and spread diseases. Bloodsuckers are a courtyard, weak to bleed, and resistant to blight. Note that many creature types can appear in different areas. These are just where they're most commonly found, and some enemies have multiple types. Now it's time for the focus lists. This is a general guideline for which enemies should be focused, but remember to target depending on what's the biggest threat to your party. And this list is a little bit subjective and is only my opinion. The list is ordered by region and then by threat level with the highest threats listed first. The following creatures can be found in all dungeons. It's a human group, you should focus the Acolyte, Madman, Fusilier, Brawler, Hunter, Cutthroat, Raider, then the Bloodletter. If it's a spider group, you should focus the Spitter, and then the Weber. If it's undead, focus the Ghoul, the Gargoyle, and then the Bone Rabble. These next lists are based on region. If you're in the Ruins, focus the Bone Bearer, Courtier, Arbalest, Spearman, Soldier, Captain, then Defender. If you're in the Warrens, focus the Drummer, Carrion Eater, Large Carrion Eater, Wretch, Skeever, Slasher, Chopper, Swinetar. If in the Weld, focus the Fungal Artillery, Crone, Nasher, Hateful Virigo, Ectoplasm, Fungal Scratcher, Large Ectoplasm, and Necrotic Fungus. If you're in the Cove, Focus the Drowned Thrall, Shaman, Deep Stinger, Sea Maggot, Grouper, Guardian, and Crusher. Notice that barring a few exceptions like the Buffing Bone Bearer or Goddamn Awful Fungal Artillery, you should be prioritizing Stress Dealers then DPS. As a rule of thumb, the enemies in the last two ranks are usually the most dangerous. So let me know what you guys think are the most dangerous enemies in the game. Do you agree with my list? This is a subjective list, after all. I play Darkest Dungeon on the channel, so if you're interested in watching some gameplay, check out my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.